What's going on guys? My name is Frito, also known as the self-proclaimed king of motherfucking drop zone. Bringing you a commentary today, not complaining about the game like I normally do. Swaying away from that as much as I can whenever I can, to be honest with you. About music. But, first and foremost, I have to thank Big SXC. Big... <laughs> Let's just call him Big Sexy. Big S Sexy Beast for allowing me to get on Cod Ops 24-7. And also thank you, the viewer, for wherever you're watching this, whether it's on my channel or on Cod Ops 24-7. Thank you for stopping by. So instead of ragging on the MW3 developers and telling them what everything, everything that they did wrong, today we're going to be talking about music, but sort of the introduction to a series that I plan on doing where I'm going to dig into different musical styles and groups and eras and ages and... You know, just about everything I can think of, reviewing music and speaking about it. Um, I'm going to sort of tell a pseudo kind of history story of my running with music and how I became to be be able to appreciate, literally, every kind of music. Like, there's no type of music that I just look at and say, that's not music, or, you know, it's terrible. Maybe country, but no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> like, I, I really get it. You know, and even if it's not my cup of tea, like I can, I, I actually can appreciate it. Whereas a lot of people, I think, have a mentality where it's like, well, that's not music. It's not music unless it's this. It's not music unless it's that. Like, I mean, everybody does this, it seems, a lot of people. But what I want to try to introduce to you today, the viewer, is to open your ears and heart. It's getting very sentimental now. Open your heart to different kinds of music because what it allows you to do is tap into. It's different spices of life, but also like different kinds of people. Because I remember when I was back growing up as a as a kid, I'm twenty two now, but when I was a, a youngin, you had to listen to the cool thing, or you had to listen to a certain type of music to be able to hang around with a certain type of group. And pretty early on in my life I was like, This is fucking stupid. Like I don't understand. Why do I have to sag my pants to listen to rap? And why do I have to slit my wrist to listen to emo music? Why do I have to you know, plant my hair black if I want to listen to metal and shop at Hot Topic and wear big ass baggy pants that have Michael Jackson zippers hanging all over them. Like, all this shit is bullshit. And it's what, it, honestly, it's what the media kind of wants. Like, it plays on this bullshit stereotyping and it gets people pinned against each other so they buy the certain types of shit. And they, it's all about selling products, ladies and gentlemen. Selling products to the young teens growing up who think being cool and being a certain thing is extremely important. Music, honestly, should get past all that. And oftentimes, the best musicians, they don't give a shit about those stupid things. Like, really, in reality, to be good at music, you have to appreciate different styles of music, even if maybe you aren't as open as, say, someone like me. But it is an undeniable fact that music evolves over time. And it does this by learning off the previous generations of music before it. And trying something different, trying to innovate, trying to create something new. While still like generating and collecting what's old, sometimes it'll repeat what's already been done. I'm trying to be really general here because I don't want to like just dive into a topic on accident. Because I want to save that for the future videos, but... You look at something like Lenny Kravitz is like revivalist of the funk and uh, traditional classic rock. Um, whereas, and then dubstep, everyone's like, oh, what's the big craze about dubstep? I, like, I don't understand. It's stupid. But when you look at it, the like wave effects, like the wah, 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 the wobbles and stuff over the bass, that is not surprising to me, especially when you compare it to something like the innovations of Jimi Hendrix using all the distortion on his guitar, like... Okay, sorry, I'm not going to sing every single type of thing to you, but you see what I'm saying. It's all about innovating and changing and improving, and sometimes it's maybe not improving, but it, it's, it's different, it's new forms of expression. Music is an art form, and I mean, in many ways, commentary is, painting, communication... All forms of us coming together and expressing emotions and feelings to each other. So I beg of you, the viewer, be sympathetic towards other people's desires and music. Maybe you like to hear bass pounding in your ear constantly. Maybe your neighbor loves the sound of a metal, you know, solo that goes on for 20 minutes. And like, you can't stand it. And then your other neighbor listens to dubstep the whole time and whoa, 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 whoa. And you're like, what the fuck are they doing to the bass? Why can't he just let it ride? Like, it's all different tastes and spices that can diversify your palate. And please, come join me on this series that we will embark on 
to journey into the vast wilderness that is music. My name is Frito, and I do not do outros.